Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you a quick, quick, quick Zentangle Octopi Valentine card. And when I say quick, the whole thing took me about 20 minutes. So please don't take the look of it to think that it's gonna be really hard to do. I'm using the Octopi stamp set from Lawn Fawn and some Nina cardstock. And I'm just gonna do this as a single layer card. So I have it taped down at the top so that I don't get octopi all over the back of the card. And I'm just gonna stamp my little octopi with as little space between them as possible. Just make a pattern across the entire thing until the whole thing is covered with octopi. You can do this with other stamps, but one of the things I like about this one is that it has both those nice open areas and nice little fussy legs, the little curly legs. So it's gonna give a really nice look to the Zentangling. And with Zentangly, you can do it with a pen, of course, but we're gonna do Zentangle stamping. I'm gonna use the double bubble. There's two bubbles in this particular stamp set, and I'm gonna fill in all of those empty holes as best I can with the doubles and turn the block every once in a while so I get a different angle for the bubbles so they're not all left to right or up to down. Turn it again and fill in some more. And I'm gonna to try to use as many of these as I can so that since it has two bubbles, it's gonna take up more space and it's gonna be quicker. And now I've got the tiniest bubble. There's a single bubble. And I'm gonna fill in the whole thing with the single bubbles all over the place. Just fill them all in one by one. And there's gonna be some spaces that I can't fit this in and that's okay. So if you've got a series of stamp sets, just go from the largest one down to the smallest one. There's a heart in this stamp set too, and you could use the heart in there, but you would wanna use it earlier and save this for the final step because this is going to really create that super detailed bubbling. You could do it with a pen, but I found that I couldn't draw a pen bubble as well as I could stamp a pen bubble. And as I said, this only took 20 minutes for the whole card. The footage before I sped it up for this was literally 20 minutes from start to the very finish of the card. So it doesn't take as long as you might suspect. And it's a real wow factor on the card, even though it really doesn't take all that much. But anybody you give this to will think you're fantastic. I'm calling it a Valentine, but of course you could send this to someone you love any time of year because you can always tell somebody that you love them. And now I'm gonna take a pen and I'm just gonna go into all of those little spaces that I couldn't get the bubble into, mostly right between those legs. There's little teeny tiny spots that I couldn't fit it in. And just draw either a half a bubble or make a little line or something just to fill those spaces in, kind of squinting to see if I can find those empty spaces across the whole thing. And if there's any places where you didn't stamp really well, this would be a good time to go in with your pen and fix some of that. I'm even gonna take a white pen and some of the areas where I had a little bloop over top of some of my stamping with one of the smaller bubbles, just fix that with a white pen. And now I have my sentiment stamped onto a panel and popped onto some dimensional adhesive. I just kind of figure out where I want that. And I added a little punched heart to it because I decided it needed just a little bit of color. And how cute and simple is that? Even though it looks really fantastic and really detailed, it wasn't all that hard to do. And there's no coloring involved. So for all of you who don't like to color, this is a great card to try for you. So there's a couple other videos here. If you'd like to see some of those, you can click on my face to subscribe to my channel. There's also lots more information in the doobly-doo down below. So be sure to check out the links for the supplies, etc. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.